this couple was not going to let COVID-19 stop them from celebrating their big day. So instead of doing it at a wedding venue, they decided to exchange their vows right here online. Julie Rowe and Robert Harpold met online. They then later got engaged. And as fate would have it, they would also tie the knot online. We're excited. <laughs> It certainly wasn't the couple's first choice to do a Zoom wedding, but the impact of COVID-19 left them with no other choice. We just wanted to do this because we've waited so long to meet each other, and we just don't want to wait any longer. Of course, they had plans to get married April 26th, the traditional way, at a wedding venue with 100 guests in attendance. But just like the many soon-to-be-married couples during this time, they were met with uncertainty. We already got our marriage license on Valentine's Day, so then it expires in 90 days. And so Robert called the Harris County um, District to, to see if you do extensions. And instead of extending their marriage license, they decided to just get married at home and invited their friends to join online. Have you ever officiated a wedding before, let alone online? Never in my first one. <laughs> the couple's good friend, Anisha Aurora, is officiating their wedding. You can still kind of embody, I think, the feeling of everyone being there and enjoying something that is just so special. But online. In their living room with flowers as their backdrop, the couple exchanged vows. I will love you without any reservation, cherish and hold you. Cut the cake and toast it to a lifetime of love and happiness. Cheers. Cheers. Proving that even in the most trying times, you can't stop love. <laughs> Robert, you may now kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, I give you Robert and Julie Harpold. Yay! Yay. <laughs> the newlywed couple tells me that they plan to have a traditional wedding sometime in July. And of course, here at KPRC, we wish them a lifetime of love and happiness. In Houston, Sally Mendoza, KPRC, Channel 2 News.